Uh, wir haben noch eine besondere Geschichte mit Jan. Und wir haben ein Kostümmenü. Und wir haben ein Kostüm erhalten. Voll gut. Das überschreiben wir direkt. Sie ist so hübsch. Oh mein Gott. Jetzt müssen wir leider die Jan Story auch noch spielen. Teresa and the Lost Demon. So, dann schauen wir mal, was die Extras hergeben. Nee, warte. Wo kann ich denn die Kostüme ändern? Anscheinend nicht hier. Wir gehen mal kurz auf Fortsetzen, das mit Jan machen wir gleich. Ich will nur, ich will nur mal fix sehen, was wir für Kostüme hier haben können. Oder was das Kostüm jetzt bringt, was ich da bekommen habe. Wo kann ich das ausrüsten? So viele Fragen. Holy shit, ich will eigentlich schlafen gehen. <lacht> okay, das ist jetzt kurz vorm Ende des Spiels. Das ist auf jeden Fall cool. Warte mal, wie wär's? Wahrscheinlich hier, oder? Ah, hier, Kostüme. Okay. Ey, es gibt ja voll viel. Cool. Oh, sick. Übelst gut. Aber damn, es gibt ja echt voll viel. Und für Cheshire gibt es auch welche? Ich kann die Frisur ändern? What? Oh mein Gott, das ist ja übelst cool. Cool. Und ich kann das Lied auch noch ändern. Ich frage mich, wie du... Ah, okay, du kannst hier sehen, wie du die freischaltest. Okay. Hätte ich das Spiel mal besser gespielt. <lacht> okay, dann machen wir mal Jans, ähm, Jans Geschichte, damit wir zumindest noch ein paar Kostüme freischalten. Ja, ich glaube, Resident Evil wird nichts mehr. Ich mache das nicht um 2 Uhr morgens noch an. Halt, das lohnt sich dann halt irgendwo auch echt nicht mehr. Warte mal. Äh, System zum Titelbildschirm. Yes. Also, wenn ich halt so um 0 Uhr fertig geworden wäre, hätte ich gesagt, komm, die Stunde können wir noch machen oder die 2. Aber ey, so 2 Uhr morgens sitze ich ja bis 5 Uhr morgens hier. Halt an einem fucking Donnerstag, was sich halt so gar nicht lohnt einfach. Daher, whatever, spielen wir Jans Geschichte. Hau raus, Mädchen. Wenn das jetzt auch nochmal so ein 4-Stunden-Ding ist, ne? <lacht> Ey, dann gibt's Damage, Alter. Aber ich schätze mal, das ist nur eine halbe Stunde lang maximal, wenn nicht sogar nur 10 Minuten. We have heard the tale of an unlikely friendship between a young witch and a lost demon. But there is a secret chapter hidden in its pages that remains untold. This is a story of two young witches who are joined by a powerful bond. From this time forth, It must forever remain a secret, never to be repeated. Am I back in the forest? Oh. 
Huh? Cheshire? Where are you, Cheshire? Within a strange void, Ceresa had been petrified by a mysterious force. And as for Cheshire, he was nowhere to be seen. Could this too have been the work of the fairies? Oh my god! I'm surprised that one so young was able to resist my power. But I shall have before long. Oh no. I figured she could handle that forest without my help. But this power is unlike anything I've ever felt before. It goes against all Umbrin teachings. But I have no choice. For years, this young girl had protected Ceresa, always being sure to watch over her from afar. Her name was Jeanne. And she, too, was an Umbra witch, just beginning her training. Unlike Ceresa, Jeanne lived in the Umbra witch village. Though forbidden, she often snuck out to meet her rival. The two never missed a chance to compare strength. Jean had been warned about the risks of soul projection, but that stayed her hand nary a moment. For she aspired to surpass Ceresa and become the strongest of all the Umbra witches, a goal that allowed no room for cowardice. I swear, the girl likes to keep me busy. Jean's technique split her soul from her body. She flew towards Avalon Forest. I'm sure of it now. Something is afoot in this forest. And it's not just the fairies. So Razor, where are you? Jeanne had successfully arrived in Avalon. The forest air was tinged with a vile presence. Junge, das war eben der Singularity Dude aus Bayonetta 3. What? Oh mein Gott. So this is the infamous fairy forest. But this Oh shit, okay. I'm sure of it. Gebt uns halt einfach die Lore. 
Whatever. I'm used to her lectures. Uh, die Area kenne ich. Glaube ich. Theresa, where are you? That girl. Always getting herself into trouble. What is that? Oh shit. Ich wollte gerade sagen, ich kann mit dem mit dem mit der rechten Seite des Controllers nichts machen, aber She noticed something peculiar. Is that Sereza's stuffed cat? She must be in trouble. I knew it. As I thought, this is no fairy magic. Who are you? Cheshire's voice alarmed John. <gasps> Who's there? Show yourself! Don't play dumb. You trapped me in here, didn't you? Cheshire said as he struggled to break free. But it took all his strength just to keep from being swallowed. He could barely move an inch. You're... a demon? What are you doing there? Where's Cereza? Cereza? How do you know the girl? Eyes narrowed. Cheshire studied John with new interest. I'm an Umbra witch, apprentice. John, I've come to save Cereza. What have you done with her? Get out here and explain yourself. Oh. Like I know where that brat is. Cheshire said, trying unsuccessfully to hide the desperation in his voice. Wait, a demon? Here? Did Cereza summon you? Jean knew Cereza well. Seeing the demon-possessed stuffed cat, she instantly grasped the situation. She thought for a moment, then had a truly devilish idea. I have a proposition for you, demon. I'll get you unstuck. But in return, you help me find Cereza. Find Cereza? The demon eyed John suspiciously. That's the deal. If you say you'll help me, I'll move you to a body in a less precarious position. I have just the thing. Jeanne produced a stuffed animal of her own. A handsome red stuffed cat. Compared to Cheshire's tattered felt, its velvet fur had a rich sheen. Nevertheless... Like I trust a human. You're all the same. You won't trick me! Cheshire barked at Jeanne. Fine by me. Best of luck then. Jeanne turned her back on the prideful demon and prepared to set off on her own. Witch! Jesha yelled, unable to conceal his distress. And with good reason, in a moment he would be sucked into that void for good. More right, let me into that blasted cat. But if this is a trick, your lunch! The demon reluctantly agreed to Jean's plan. <laughs> Very well, demon. Now, into the vessel you go! <laughs> to think this would come in handy here. Demon! Speak your name. I don't have one. The demon showed his gratitude the only way he knew how. An angry roar. I see. Then I shall call you Charles. Charles? Perhaps the demon had grown more attached to the name Cheshire than he cared to admit. <laughs> What's the fuss? Any name will do, right? Off we go now, Charles. We've no time to waste.
Let's go! So, Jan kann ebenfalls Dornfessel benutzen. Uh, sie hat einen größeren Wirkungsbereich, das ist schon mal ziemlich gut. Aber es dauert länger, bis sie wieder zaubern kann. Okay. That was sooner than expected. I've held up my end of the bargain. Now earn your keep. Cheshire was not fond of his new name. But now was not the time. Any protest would have to wait. Okay, sie sind insane stark. Yo, los geht's. Thus began Jean and Cheshire. I mean, Jean and Charles search for Ceresa. Übelst cool, oh mein Gott. Was ist los hier? Tada! Okay, sehr gut. My brave friend, leave now. I implore you. Charles, was that you just now? Junge, was ist das für eine Bayonetta 3 Kacke hier gerade? Oh mein Gott! Wenn mir das nicht gleich die übelste Plot-Revelation um die Ohren haut, Riot einfach. Nehme ich alles auseinander hier. Die ganze, das ganze Zimmer ist schraut danach. Holy shit. What is this place? The fairy stench is overwhelming. Yes, this place is always crawling with them. Perfect for a quick snack. The demon had learned a few things on his journey, so he took this opportunity to show off. Shit, hau raus, Junge. Damn. Ey, wir haben es echt verspät. Aber jetzt kann, ich kann jetzt nicht aufhören. Wir müssen das durchspielen. Wenn es noch eine Stunde dauert, so. Ich habe keine Ahnung, wie lang das ist, Mann. Die Sucht kickt. Ich meine, jetzt haben wir es so weit gespielt. Jetzt kann man es ja doch durchspielen, so. Ach, das Giro. Gute Nacht, Sari. Schlaf gut. 
Das hier kann man sich ja später noch alles auf YouTube angucken. Also von daher, hier geht ja nichts verloren. Charles eyed John suspiciously as he spoke. Crybaby? Oh, you mean Ceresa. She may blubber from time to time, but look past the tears and you'll find a truly spectacular power. Ceresa and I have a duty to become stronger. We must protect the legacy of the Umbra. Warte mal, wir haben doch auch ein Optionsmenü, ne? Okay, wir haben kein Optionsmenü. Wir können halt literally nichts machen. Ich glaube, dann kann das nicht so lange sein. <lacht> Kannst du das kaputt machen, please? Danke. Ich werde ein bisschen weinen, wenn wir tatsächlich bis 3, 4 Uhr morgens hier sitzen. Aber ich, ich kann mir nicht vorstellen, dass das eine Stunde oder zwei Stunden lang ist. Ich teile so 20 Minuten maximal. 30. Vielleicht. Weil ich weiß es auch nicht so. Ich habe halt, hab legit keine Ahnung. Aber halt davon ausgehend, dass du nicht wirklich irgendwas hast, um aufzuleveln oder so. Du hast kein Menü. Halt, du kriegst halt übelst schnell diese ganzen Lebenskraftdinger. Wie lange kann das nicht dauern eigentlich? Oder? That said, well, I'm not surprised she summoned a demon into a stuffed cat. And I dare say, you seem to like it. Like it? I'm counting down the seconds till she gets me back to Inferno. John thought that Charles's felt cheeks looked more red than usual. Ja, wir werden sehen. Es ist auf jeden Fall unglaublich cool, dass das überhaupt existiert, so. Ich hätte echt gedacht, wir wären jetzt fertig und hätte nicht damit gerechnet, ähm, dass wir nochmal, also, das ist einfach so ein, so ein Epilog bekommen, so. Vor allem, der dann tatsächlich richtig in Bayonetta 3 mit reingeht. She's close by, I can feel it. But where? Charles heard John, but said nothing. Deep down, worry weighed heavy on his heart. He let out a sigh. Okay, ich glaube, da müssen wir lang, oder? 
Ist schon unpraktisch, wenn man einfach keine Spuren von einem weißen Wolf hat, die einem zeigen, wo es lang geht. Okay, nein, da oben geht's lang, schätze ich. Ja? Auf jeden Fall kann er hier hoch. Okay. Sie muss auf jeden Fall nach hier. Da muss er anscheinend wieder zurück. Nicht zu weit. Oh mein fucking Gott, macht das jetzt schon mein Gehirn kaputt schon wieder. So, erst er, dann wieder sie. Das klingt nicht gut. So. So. Sick. Who's there? Es ist auf jeden Fall cool, so ein cooles Erlebnis. Ich hätte, wie gesagt, auch nicht gedacht, dass es so gut ist. Ich dachte, es ist halt echt... So, so ein kleines Ding, was halt ganz cute ist, was du so spielen kannst. Aber ich habe halt nicht damit gerechnet, dass das halt so abgeht. Oh mein Gott, alles explodiert. Ah, fuck. Äh... Uh, shit. Warte. Schön, dass das einfach instant geklappt hat. Ich glaube, das war's. Amazing. 
und noch mehr Leben. Ey, das wird gleich einfach irgend so ein richtig insaner Kampf, oder? Wenn ich jetzt halt schon einfach, keine Ahnung, acht Lebensblumen habe. Hier geht doch gleich irgendein richtig krasser Shit ab, so. Ich spiele das jetzt so lange, bis ich alles geschafft habe. Und wenn sie jetzt noch drei weitere Epiloge freischalten, spielen wir die auch noch. Das ist halt... Let's go, so. I don't care. Oh shit. Where is she? Jean's voice echoed through the still forest. Whatever lay ahead would change her fate forever. Jean could not shake this feeling. An inexplicable fear began to swell inside her. So weit, so gut. Oh, <lacht> noch mehr Energie. Let's go. Ich meine, es ist ja auch die einzige Möglichkeit, wie wir unsere HP wieder auffüllen, merke ich gerade. Wir haben ja gar keine... Ähm Gar keine Heiltränke oder sowas. Und es gibt ja auch keine. keine Zelte. Nee, gar nicht. Nicht Zelte, keine. keine Rastplätze. Oh, das sieht spooky aus. The cracks hier. I can feel Cereza from the other side. What? The demon's eyes grew wide. What lay waiting on the other side? Had they finally found Ceresa? Das ist so crazy. Jetzt habe ich direkt Bock nochmal Bayonetta 3 durchzuspielen, Alter. Holy shit. Oh mein Gott. Ich dreh durch. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
Oh god! Oh my god! Sereza? It's faint, but I can sense her magic. And she's not alone. Something put John's nerves on edge. This presence belonged to no fairy. Look! Over there! Charles had spotted something. Jeanne followed Charles' gaze. She could see a small figure floating in the distance. It was Ceresa. She was unnaturally still, frozen by some unknown power. Jean looked at Ceresa's face. It was as pale as ice. Ceresa! So close. Whoever was behind this was determined to keep the girls apart. Charles bared his fangs and began to growl. The source of Jean's unease appeared before them now. He was suspended in the air, like a fell spectre. Fixed by his gaze, neither dared to so much as breathe. You're the one who was speaking to me before. Who are you? So we meet again, my brave friend. Or perhaps introductions are in order. Yes, you may call me he who affirms all phenomena. My, that's quite a mouthful. You're worse than no name over there. No matter. Anyone crossing the Umbra will pay! Arc Eve Origin. To think that her continued defiance would bring me to this place. A slight miscalculation, but she will be mine soon, nonetheless. And then. I will affirm my world. As he spoke, the spectre's eyes grew crazed. They smoldered with a dark energy. But John and Charles did not back down. What absolute poppycock! I won't let you lay a finger on my Umbran sister. Return, Ceresa, or prepare to feel the wrath of the Umbra! Now is the time for all to be affirmed. What the fuck? Oh, which time? <laughs> Holy shit! Incredible! You managed to crawl deep in there. Ein Glück ist Wasser einfach unglaublich overpowered. What the fuck? Oh. 
The Spectre opened a scroll and called forth a fairy from the thin air. Using the magic of the fairy realm, this technique gave shape to the pain inside Cereza's heart. Oh mein Gott, Mädchen, komm schon. Okay, ich verstehe, was ich machen muss, glaube ich, oder? Nee, ich verstehe nicht, was ich machen muss. Ah, sick. What's the matter? Don't tell me you're giving up already. He probably tastes horrible. I better swallow him in one gulp. The demon was already licking his chops. But the spectre was unfazed. As he got to his feet, a faint smile crossed his lips. You still don't understand, do you, Jean? What will happen if you oppose me? How? How do you know my name? I will show you, Jean. Give you a glimpse at what will happen. Jean and Charles found they were unable to move. The Spectre had them in his spell. A moment later, a torrent of horrible visions began to flood into Jean's mind. It was a vision of Jean as a grown woman, dealt a fatal blow by an unknown assailant. Stop these stupid tricks! I'll rip you apart! Charles tried with all his might, but he could not move. Jean, I have shown you a vision of things to come. If you do not distance yourself from me, that future will certainly find you. But this fate is not yet determined. Leave now, and it may yet be avoided. The spectre rose once again. Suspended midair, he looked down on them with his piercing gaze. He slowly turned to face Ceresa. Arc Eve, Origin. You cannot resist much longer. Soon you will give me that which I desire. Then, finally, phenomenal affirmation will be realized. What the fuck? Hold you. You won't lay a finger on my unbred sister! Jean stood tall in defiance. Perhaps I was too soft. Witness your cruel fate once more. Pipsqueak made a promise to me she has yet to fulfill. You can't have her! The beast gave a fierce roar. Jean, you have seen what awaits you. Yet still, you would face me. I won't run away. I am going to be the strongest witch of all! You know what awaits. Yo, holy shit, dieses ganze Spiel ist insane. Holy shit. Holy shit, einfach nur. Oh fuck. Oh god. 
Wenn ich den ganzen Kampf nochmal machen muss, weine ich. Ah, das war richtig smart von mir. Oh, come on! Oh, come fucking on, so! Oh, wenn ich jetzt den ganzen Kampf nochmal machen muss, ne? Komm, wir bleiben auf normal, wir kriegen das hin. Oh, sick. Okay, wir müssen das Ganze nicht nochmal machen. Das ist sehr based eigentlich. Das wäre halt schon echt shitty gewesen, wenn ich das Ganze mit Katzen hätte nochmal machen müssen. Holy shit, er haut rein. Oh mein Gott, was? Your 
your tricks won't work anymore. Come on! It is not too late. Na bitte, holy shit, was für ein Kampf. The Spectre's right hand began to glow with an icy glimmer. Stop! Yes, that is what you humans say in the face of defeat. And when those pleas go unanswered, that is when you witness true despair. Charles screamed out in agony. The spectral flames were slowly eating through his body, tearing him apart. After I finished with him, your next. I tried to warn you not to get involved. It's a pity you would not listen. Flooded with a light as bright as the sun. For a moment, everything around them seemed to dissolve in the radiant glow. What? What is happening? Could she have awakened? gerade unser precious right eye. Ich dreh durch, Mann. Holy shit. The Spectre's blood-curdling scream seemed to shatter the air itself. This is a That fate is now immutable. I will not fear my fate. Whatever may come, I will stand and face it! His power extinguished. The Spectre's body flickered, 
then faded away. As if in response, cracks and fissures burst all around them, and the world began to crumble. It's all falling apart. Was this all just his illusion? Cereza! The color had begun to return to Cereza's cheeks. She was not yet awake, but from the faint smile on her face, she appeared to be having a pleasant dream. I think she'll be all right. They will be able to return to the forest. And it looks like my time is almost up. Jean's body had grown faint. Her technique had reached its limit. Her traveling soul yearned to return to her body. Well, Charles, which will it be? Which? What do you mean, which? Charles returned with a puzzled look. I'm asking, will you go back to that tattered doll? Or shall I send you home to Inferno? Charles blinked incredulously. Home to Inferno? This was something unexpected. Did Jean have such a power? For a moment, Charles simply stared at Jean, saying nothing. Finally, he spoke. You think I'd trust you with that? Just keep it simple and put me back where you found me. I see. Have it your way. But come on, you must like that body. Better than the lump of scraps Cereza drags around. Hmm. I hate them both the same. Charles grumbled in his usual irritated manner. Besides, you're too rough for my taste. At least the pipsqueak gives me a break once in a while. <laughs> That's so. Seeing through his act, Jean smiled at the flustered demon. She used her umbran arts to grant his wish and returned him to his former body. Cheshire, there you are. I'm gone for a minute and you get yourself lost again. With a peaceful expression on her face, she gave Cheshire a big squeeze. Cheshire sighed and furrowed his brow, but somewhere deep down, he was relieved. Farewell, Charles! No, Cheshire! And don't you dare tell Cereza what happened here. I mean it! I don't take orders from humans. But you saved me back there. I suppose I can make an exception this once. Cheshire added softly. If I didn't know better, I'd swear I was talking to a human. Take care of my friend, Furball. Whatever lies ahead, I'll be ready. I'm going to be the strongest witch of all. Thus concludes the adventure of Jean and Charles. We have seen how Ceresa and Cheshire's journey went from here. But what of Jean? What happened to her? after learning of her fate. 
It may not be possible to change one's destiny. However, Jean's indomitable spirit and steadfast resolve will surely guide her down a true path. Let us wish her success in her journey and put this chapter away in a safe place. Forevermore, this story will remain our little secret. Oh shit, das war krass. Holy shit. Die Implikation einfach. Jan wusste bereits, wer Singularity war. Ich dreh durch. Ich dreh durch. Aber die hat auch alles vergessen, oder? Ich habe gerade die Bayonetta 1 Geschichte nicht mehr im Kopf. Hatten die beide nicht? Amnesie am Ende? I'm confused. Bissel, bissel verwirrt bin ich gerade. Das müsste ich jetzt nochmal durchlesen. Aber damn, das war cool. Holy shit, Junge. Es ging auch noch mal eine Stunde. Ich dreh durch. <lacht> oh Mann, ey. Das ist, einfach, das ist einfach nicht okay. Aber jetzt können wir uns noch die kurzen Kostüme angucken. Und dann bin ich fertig. Das ist Feierabend. Holy shit. Sechs Stunden, Junge. Oh mein Gott! Yo! Yo! Oh mein fucking Gott! I love it! Perfekt! Es ist perfekt einfach! <lacht> Junge! Oh mein Gott! Du hast einfach das Outfit in Bayonetta 3 und du hast das Bayonetta 3 Outfit einfach in Bayonetta Origins. I'm shitting myself! Oh Gott! <lacht> uh, the right eye. Ah ne, das haben wir schon. Das ist übrigens die Outfit aus, ähm... Aus, aus, aus. Wonderful 101, oder? So, so sieht sie auf jeden Fall auch da aus. Und wir können jetzt Jan spielen. Crazy. Das ist einfach das Beste. Ein, ich drehe durch so. Aber ja. Das wäre dann alles, was ich zu Bayonetta Origins zu zeigen hätte, würde ich sagen. Ich hoffe, es war einigermaßen interessant. Ich hoffe, es war spaßig. Ich hoffe, es war cool. Ich hoffe, ihr schätzt Bayonetta jetzt ein bisschen mehr wert als vorher. Und... Ja, das war cool. Es hat Spaß gemacht. Es war auf jeden Fall wesentlich besser, als ich erwartet hätte. Und... Ähm ja, ich freue mich auf mehr Bayonetta in der Zukunft.